Hello and welcome to my e-lesson and in today's video I'll tell you how to find the sum of any number of values from a range. For example, if you want to find the sum of the top three values in this range, correct, then we can do that like I have done over here. Sum of top three values is 282. So what has Axel done is that it has found the top three values. One of them would be 94, the other would be 93 and I believe one of them would be 95. So then the total of these three is 282. Similarly, I have also shown how you can do total of more than three or any number of values like top 10 values. The total is 800 and I have used four formulas to do this. Sum product formula, large formula, row formula and indirect formula. So let me show you. In fact, I have written the formula also here for you. So let's start. So I am going to press delete over here and for this example, we have taken the product names over here and the sales in January is mentioned over here. Alright. Now, we need to find the sum of top three values. Alright. So, we'll start by typing in is equal to sum product, which is a array formula, which allows you to handle. So, which is an amazing formula, which allows you to handle arrays like anything. All right. Now, within this formula, we will use the large formula. All right. Large formula usually asks you, okay, where is your data? Here is our data. And then it will usually ask you, okay, which position do you want? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. But in our case, we want a set, multiple set of positions. So we will give a curly bracket over here and type in one comma 2 comma 3 since we are trying to add up top 3 values correct and I will close the curly brackets again and now I will close the regular brackets I will press enter and the answer is 282 see for example let me make 3 values as 100 each okay so you will see the answer is 300 Correct? Because the top three values are 100 each. Isn't this cool? This is amazing. This can be done usually using the conditional formatting also, but it would not give you result. As in terms of numbers, over here you can get these numbers. So this is advanced Excel. Now let me tell you that there is one problem with this formula. The problem is, say if you have to type in, uh, the say if you have to find in the top 10 values the sum of top 10 values so you'll have to manually type in 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 instead there is another version wherein over here i have used the row and the indirect formula to get the top 10 value see i have just mentioned 1 is to 10 let me show you how that is done all right so i'm going to delete this again i'll start with some product and again we will use the large formula and we will give it the array. Okay, here is our array. And now instead of the digit, we will give it row. All right. And in a row, we have to give a reference. So reference would be an indirect formula. Amazing. Which will now allow us to enter 1 to 10 very easily but we have to do it within quotes 1 is to 10 quotes close close the brackets press enter and you are done 848 now if i make this 8 so the top 8 values if i make it 15 or 12 so this is top 12 values I make it five, five values. I make it three, top three values. Isn't this cool? Well, you can actually go to myelesson.org and download these practice files to practice along. All right. And already 217,000 people have subscribed to us on YouTube so that they get notified whenever I update a new video. 
why don't you also subscribe so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video? That would be great. Also, if you find this video to be good, please do click on the like symbol and share it with your friends. Until the next video, this is your Guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.